They kill neurons, and that's been well proven in animal studies over and over again. We'll put a link uh, to this podcast where we have a review paper where we listed all these references. You can read them up for yourself. It's very well known to neuroscientists that amphetamines, including methylphenidate, which is an amphetamine, again, described in our paper, methylphenidate and dextroamphetamine, which are your two main pharmacological amphetamines, are neurotoxic, they kill neurons. They do so in young animals more than older animals, so maybe even more of an issue if we give them to children. It's never been disproven in humans. It's never been shown that they're safe in humans. There are very few human studies, mostly because we ignore the issue Clinicians and researchers uh, pretend there's no issue here. They don't even know about it usually. Uh, I've talked to a colleague who's one of the world's experts on ADD, and he told me he'd never heard about this, even though it's very commonly known among neuroscientists, PhD researchers on the brain that amphetamines are neurotoxic. For some reason, psychiatrists, clinicians don't know this. You should know this, and you should tell your patients. Now, you might say, well, it hasn't been proven in humans, and but you should tell your patients then. Here's a drug that's toxic to neurons in all animal species studied from mice to monkeys. And we don't know what it does in humans. 